This is One on One. Dr. Jeffrey Lee is uh, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Chief Academic Officer at Essex County College. Good to see you, Doctor. Good to be here. Doctor, you are part of the uh, series uh, Classroom Close-Up that our colleagues and friends at the New Jersey Education Association, um, they featured you, we're about to see a video, mm -hmm. that features you and, and your work with a Sophia Medina, who is a student from Ecuador, correct? Correct. And, and why is this significant, we're about to see? She is one of our students who has come from so far back. She came to this country looking for education with her family and has the ability and had the stamina to succeed in classroom but just didn't have the academic ability and the immigration status issues. And so she came to us and we were able to help her to the point where now she is finishing up school at Johns Hopkins University and debating on whether to go to med school or for a master in public health or to do all of the above. That's awesome. By the way, your area of expertise is? Microbiology. Oh, that thing. Yes, that thing. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Microbiology. This is a piece from a Classroom Close-Up, which you can catch on a regular basis on the great uh, NJTV, the public television station in the great state of New Jersey. Um, this is the video piece that features Dr. Lee and Sophia Medina. Check it out, Classroom Close-Up. Sophia Medina is a graduate of Essex County College. She comes back often to visit with some of her former professors, especially Dr. Lee. Out of probably 2,400 students over 22 years, she is one of the top five that I have seen academically. Um, it's very nice. But her academic success has not come easily. Throughout most of her life, Sophia has faced many uncertainties because of her undocumented resident status. The main reason why my parents decided to move uh, our family from Ecuador to the U.S. was mainly for educational purposes. During my senior year, when I was applying to several schools, I got accepted to one of my top choice universities at the time, which was Penn State University. And seeing that there was just no way for me to pursue those opportunities for economic reasons and also my immigration status uh, was very um, disheartening. It was like, I'm going to Essex County College and I'm going to be there until I get my residency. If I'm there for a semester and I get my permanent residence, then I'm transferring after a semester. In a way, it was sort of an arrogant behavior. Um, and I recognize it. And very quickly, when I came here, I was humbled. I met very uh, empathetic professors um, and people who not only helped me to grow academically, but helped me to grow as like a human being. Um, so I ended up staying here for three years, so longer than what I initially expected. But when I got here, I wasn't in a rush to like get out anymore. It'll start off with... 2014 was a great year for Sophia and her family. She graduated with a 3.96 GPA and is currently enrolled at Johns Hopkins University in the pre-med program. The Medinas also received their permanent residence status. Dr. Lee has been one of the people I treasure most at Essex County College. So to have someone who was like so on board with me and to be like, yeah, absolutely, like I'll help you is really great. And that motivates me because I, I don't think I have any reason not to succeed. She's one of the students who you really know has the abilities and you know can do well. They're the ones who you know you'll see in the newspaper or you'll see running research labs, to know now that when I see that down the road that I had some hand in getting her there makes me happy. How could you be uh, any more proud? Like she was my daughter. I mean, uh, what did you see in her when you first met her? She was a student who went beyond the classroom. 
So in the classroom, we have certain things we work on, things students are expected to do. She was always going beyond that. She always had dreams beyond that. She could mm. see things beyond the classroom that I just found astounding. So, you know, Sophia, one of the millions, if you will, coming to this country, immigrants, undocumented, do we have any idea what they face? They face a lot. They face scorn in some cases. They face ridicule in schools, in public schools in New Jersey where they do get a very good education. They're often disheartened because they don't have the ability to, which you heard, apply to different schools because of their status. Many times young students and young people like Sophia, they're supporting their families, their parents, their grandparents. They're the ones who know the language, so they're the ones that have to act as the mediators for court cases and other things. And so particularly for the young students and the young people coming into the country, they have a very, very hard, very heavy burden on them to support themselves and their families. What kind of contribution could Sophia potentially make to this country, to this community? Sophia, community? Sophia, like a lot of our students that come through biology, the ones that I've seen, they don't so much want to be doctors to go out and have a practice and specialize. It always comes back to, I want to help people. So it's never, I want to have a practice this, this community needs help or this country doesn't know basic medicine or basic health care. So most of them are looking at medical degrees, but then looking at a much broader expanse of helping other people. They all seem to have that same, I want to help the world mindset. Why do you teach? I love it. It's something I didn't plan on doing 40 odd years ago, but Essex is a unique place. It's a place where my colleagues and I come to work from very different backgrounds, like our students, and we stay there. We're like an extended family. We don't always get along, but we all believe in the school and we all believe in our students, and that's what keeps us coming back. A few seconds left. I'm a student of leadership. So are you. What's the greatest lesson you've learned about leadership? Greatest lesson in leadership is? Greatest lesson I've learned in leadership probably would be my father, who's now passed, who has taught me to not belittle people and do what you can with what you're given. Hmm. You clearly have. Thank you. And uh, Sophia Medina, um, one of your students, has gone on to great things. She's at Johns Hopkins right now. Correct. Dr. Jeffrey Lee, uh, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Chief Academic Officer at Essex County College, part of the uh, Classroom Close-Up series. Uh, that we feature together with the NJEA. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Englewood Hospital and Medical Center, Montclair State University, New Jersey Sharing Network, Verizon, and by the North Ward Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.